with the newly released Grid Legends on the Quest 2 and Quest Pro, there are a lot of mixed feelings regarding it. Let's get the negatives out of the way to start off with. The main focus of negativity, and for good reason, are the graphics. The graphics for this title are terrible, and not what I was expecting at all. I would place them on par with probably the PlayStation 1, but when the title is ported by a AAA publisher and developer, you'd hope they'd spend the time and care tailoring the graphics for the hardware in question. I think a lot of shortcuts were taken instead of trying to get the best visuals possible. This, of course, is speculation in my opinion, but that's how it seems. Other than that, I'm really enjoying this game. And here's why. The game has a load of content. It still retains its story mode with full-blown cutscene footage, a career mode, multiplayer which includes the ability to host your own races, upgrade options for a range of, I believe, 22 cars, upgrades for your team, teammate, and the ability to rebind controls. Whilst, yes, the menu is flat, this is a racing game, and that's its focus. A flat menu doesn't bother me. I'm glad the developers didn't waste time and money on creating a new environment that you can interact with just for the sake of a menu system. The cars each feel and handle differently, and the physics simulation is still fully intact. This, to my understanding, is where a lot of the resources and power are being used, which has resulted in the severe downgrade in graphics. I've had up to 19 AI cars in a race, me making it 20 cars on the grid, and I have to believe that that many AI cars must be quite resource heavy. When looking for online races, I even saw a lobby with a max player count of 22. I strongly believe that with a bit of time, care and love, the developers could improve the graphic fidelity by firstly removing the details from some of the buildings and items in the environment. We are racing and focusing on the track. We don't care about how pretty a building looks. When it comes to controls though, there is only the ability to steer with the joystick. You accelerate with the right trigger and brake with the left trigger. It would have been nice to see a virtual wheel option though, so here's hoping for that addition in the future. But I'm not holding my breath. Now, with all that said, enjoy this lightly edited footage of my time in the game, both single player and online multiplayer. Game on. I am just happy that we have gotten a proper racing game. Native on the quest. Now again, yes, the graphics are disappointing, but it's a proper racing game. It's not a kart racing game where you're throwing fruit at people and or things like that. It's not a Mario Kart game. It's a proper racing game. Native on the quest, Jesus Christ. Now you'll notice obviously there's no mirror reflections there. I can't look at my mirror to see if there's anyone behind me, but I am getting the traditional, the traditional bollocks, I was gonna say. You are getting the traditional uh, HUD elements where you can see if there's a driver close to you and where sort of like in relation to you they are which is typical for a grid game again the graphics are disappointing and I think that's what a lot of people are going to focus on so let's just get this out of the way yes the graphics are disappointing okay now that's out of the way other than that okay it's running super well it handles really well, he says, crushing into the wall. Uh, it handles really well, and you can tell it's, you know, it's not just a simple, you know, steer around corner sort of thing. It's, you know, proper physics in the way the cars handle. This car feels different to the previous car that I handled or that I raced in. So there's all of that going on. And like I said previously, I reckon that's where a lot of the power has gone. Damage level, visual only or full. So you can actually have damage that will affect your car instead of just being cosmetic. 
you can have terminal damage on and off, AI difficulty, flashbacks are still in the game. So if anyone that doesn't know in the grid games, same in the Formula 1 games now as well, if you make a mistake, depending on the difficulty or if you've got flashbacks enabled, you have so many flashbacks that you can use, which basically allows you to reverse time back up to a certain point and then resume from that point so you can correct a mistake that you made. So if you span out and crashed, you can use a flashback, go back in time and then continue. Career race length. So this goes up to five times. So if you want to increase the length of your races during your career, you can do so. ABS, traction control, stability control, drift mode, counter steering assist. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't want that. I want to counter steer myself. Thank you very much. OSD, so on screen display. You can have a mini map on if you want. Driver tag so you can see who is who. Proximity ammo so you know how close someone is behind you. Teammate controls, flashback. So, teammate controls. Last grid game I played allowed you, and I'm assuming it's a continuation of that, to tell um, your teammate to push, to defend. Uh, things like that. Let's have a look at what other locations there are. So we've got Barcelona, Brands Hatch, Chicago, Crescent Valley, Dubai, Havana, Indianapolis, London, Moscow, Mount Panorama, Okutama GP, Okutama Sprint, Paris, Red Bull Ring, San Francisco, Sepang International Circuit, Shanghai, Strada Alpina, Alpina, mm, Suzuka Circuit, Sydney Motorsport Park, Yokohama Dock, and Ziyang circuit. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But inside each of these, you've got your different routes as well. So different variations of those locations. So San Francisco, for example, it's got forwards and backwards. It's then got sprint, short circuit, and then sprint and short circuit reverse as well. I can see that Gamertag is online. So we're going to jump into his session and, uh, Give him a little race. Oh, okay. We're off. Oh, got some people jumping there. Okay. People are getting physical. Oh, there are literally jumps. That's why I'm seeing people jump. Whoa, okay. Sorry guys. Oh, okay. Go wide, go wide. Okay, we got around that. Let's do a jump, shall we? Woo! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Coming back the wrong way around the circuit. I see how it is. We can go wide. Whoa! Right, come on, GT. Show me what you got. You're going for the jump. Ah. Gonna lose some time there. Look at that. Whoa! Okay, that was close. Soup has finished, I think. So is GT. So it's me. And these other people. As long as I can stop hitting the walls. Ah, third. I'll take that. This is quite fiddly. Quite quick as well. Oh my god, we're low down in the car as well. Everyone is going left, right, and center. I'm uh, mowing the lawn, and I've spun it. Everyone's trying to avoid me. <laughs> oh, we've had a flip. Oh my god. Everyone is going everywhere. Carnage. Absolute carnage with these sorts of cars. If you spin the wheels, you are done for. And breaking in a straight line, if you try and. Whoa! There we go. Spun it. If you try and. Break and turn at the same time. Oh, GT's gone! Did not want to accelerate whilst on the grass. Soup has won it though. 
Ah, oh, that damn spin. <laughs> Best of starts. Oh, that was clean. It felt clean. So yeah, no voice chat in the game, it would seem. So if you do want to be able to taunt people whilst you're racing, you're going to have to have a private group set up. Oh, it's lucky to get around that. Only a little bit of contact with the wall there. I've overcooked that. Gonna go for the inside line. Oh, that was close. Hello, mate. See ya. There we go. Woof. Now this is racing. Obviously nothing compares to actually using a wheel. But it's the next best thing, I guess. Oh! That was a bit close. Threw it into that corner. Looks like there's some tyres have been hit there. A few on the track. Was that a bumper I just saw? Can you tell I like racing games? <laughs> oh, hello. I just lapped someone. It's a real deal. I guess maybe he's got terminal damage. Right. Final lap? Have I done three already? How many laps have I done? I've done three laps. So we went from third winning in a race to second to a win. That's progress for you right there. But I'm going to end this video here. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Grid Legends. Whilst, yes, the graphics are disappointing. Other than that... For this to be running natively on the Quest, I understand why there have had to be some graphical downgrades and quite some severe ones, so that they could still have the physics simulation of what the grid games offer running natively on the Quest 2. Now, I still think there is some room for improvement. I think there's some stuff that they can do to increase the graphical fidelity I think they can remove a lot of the detail in the buildings and everything that's around the environment, reduce that. So other than those negatives of the graphics, it's pretty much just the graphics. I'm not worried, I'm not fussed about the flat menu system that's in here in the black screen. That doesn't bother me at all because it's a racing game and I'm judging this on its racing and how fun it is. And it is fun. We jumped in, we did some multiplayer, and that was amazing. I think there is a lot of fun to be had in this game. So if you are wanting yourself a native actual racing game, other than a kart racing game, you want a proper racing experience to run natively on the Quest 2, number one, this is the only one that I'm aware of. And if you can look past the graphical downgrades, I think... I think you will enjoy this game. I have, in the period that I've been sitting here recording this video for you guys, I have enjoyed this experience. I don't want to stop recording because I just want to keep on playing. That's, that's how much I've enjoyed this. I want to continue the story. I want to work on my career and have these races. And I want to race with you guys in multiplayer. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this game, if you're going to grab it. And if you are going to grab it, I'd really appreciate it if you use my referral link. I get four pounds credit, store credit from that, and you get 25% off. And the store credit is used on getting games to cover for you guys on this channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, Subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell and stick it to all so you do not miss out on future content because this year I'm going to work harder than ever. I really want this channel to do well. I want to build an amazing community for you. So 
come join the Discord, let's get a conversation going. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and game on. Oh, God, it's Medusa. Loving the tunes in this game. I love it. Should play this game now. I'm always surprised that there's not um, more people playing this game. Yeah, it's like one of the best things on Tell me about it.